more is Dr. Jason Johnson. Jason, did anything that happened yesterday shock you? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Donald Trump is still winning. Uh, Hillary Clinton split the difference with Bernie Sanders. And the race continues pretty much the same as it was two weeks ago. Well, Jason, let's talk about Bernie and Hillary. Things have really gotten ugly with some of the Bernie Sanders supporters, especially after Nevada. Um, will Hillary Clinton be able to unify this party? I know she's uh, about 100 votes shy of the nomination. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. Uh, and the reason why is because, one, uh, as I've said consistently, and I talk to Sanders supporters all the time, I talk to Clinton supporters, the threat of Donald Trump as president is enough to unify the vast majority of Bernie Sanders supporters. The other thing is this, as angry as they are about how Bernie Sanders has been treated, uh, polls show Pew Charitable Trust, CNN polls, MSNBC polls show that the vast majority of Bernie Sanders supporters still support Hillary Clinton, so I think they'll come around. Uh, speaking of Trump, here we go. He names his list of uh, Supreme Court, potential Supreme Court nominees, and he consider one, in fact, uh, a part of the Never Trump movement, Diane Sykes. What's he trying to show here? What's going on? Uh, Donald Trump is grasping at straws. Uh, I mean, he, he just last week finally hired a pollster. Uh, a couple of weeks before then, he just hired a delegate math expert. Um, and you can sort of see it's, it's similar to watching a kid cram for school at the last minute. This is what happens when you have a party nominee who is not a politician. So he's, he's suddenly coming up with Supreme Court nominations. And in a couple of weeks, he's going to come up with an economic czar. Uh, I don't think any of the things that he's suggesting now are really going to be relevant once we start getting to debates in the fall. But he wants to show that he's taking the campaign seriously. Jason, I was watching uh, Trump's interview with Megyn Kelly, and I was, I was actually shocked because she asked him point blank if he wanted to apologize for some of the things he's said in the uh, past that were uh, divisive. And he said he didn't feel like he needed to, like that didn't do, he finds that don't do you any good. Are you surprised that he just simply cannot or will not apologize? I, you know, I'm less surprised, Ramona, by his lack of apology than I am by the fact that Fox even set that interview up. Uh, I think it's insulting to Megyn Kelly, who's a very, very talented anchor, uh, to have to sit there in front of someone and make nice because it was good for ratings, uh, as opposed to treating Donald Trump like the hostile person he has been towards her. We're never going to hear any apologies out of Donald Trump for anything. As far as he is concerned, the very behavior that he is engaged in has allowed him to win and beat 15 other men and one woman. So there's no reason for him to apologize. Whether or not that's going to work when he has to actually campaign with independents and Democrats and other people this fall remains to be seen. Still a long road to go. Dr. Jason Johnson, once again, thank you very much for taking some time with us today. We appreciate it. Anytime.